another look at the previous typhoons I featured from a few weeks ago. And the sister is Typhoon or Super Typhoon Mankey. And with the Westpac activity starting to lessen, in this update we look at Typhoon on the train. Latest from the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre shows that the system has been downgraded from Super Typhoon status to Typhoon and is located 20 decibel 1 degrees north, 129 decibel 7 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 125 knots gusting 150 knots this is the life of the typhoon up to earlier today and at present the size of the eye is nine nautical miles but it has been another one of the impressive systems that the rest pack has seen this uh, season and with the third of October a couple more weeks and we'll get to hear what's going on down here in the southern hemisphere and the typhoon is 398 nautical miles south southeast of the Kadena Air Force Base tracking northwest at 9 knots the Australian Bureau of Meteorology will issue the 2018-19 outlook about the last week of October. Here's the Joy Typhoon's warning centers current chart. And followed by model tracks and intensity guidance. Environmental analysis shows that Typhoon 30W is experiencing a uh, favourable vertical wind shear, 10 to 15 knots, along with excellent equatorial outflow, good poleward outflow, although outflow in the upper level cell to its south east has slackened over the last six hours. The typhoon has crossed into the pool cooler, 26-27 degrees Celsius, so temperatures resulting from upwelling generated by typhoon Trammy several days prior leading to the weakening in tracking northwestward along the southwestern periphery of a subtropical ridge located to the northeast. Typhoon 30 W will continue to track northwestward along the southwest of periphery of the steering ridge and around 48-72 hours it will round the axis of the aforementioned steering ridge begin moving to the northeast. Now this is what the Japanese Meteorological Agency is saying. Typhoon 30 will lose its favourable orientation with respect to the cell to the southeast and through to the north decreasing outflow the diminished outflow cool the sea surface temperatures will cause the typhoon to weaken to 75 knots within 48 hours however there may be a short-term intensity fluctuations 
as the new primary eyewall contracts. Additionally, Typhoon 30 will tap into another passing mid-latitude trough 48 hours, temporarily enhancing outflow, slowing the weakening trend. Dynamic model guidance remains in good agreement through 48 hours with a spread of 125 nautical miles. However, model trackers diverge after 48 hours at the point of the recurve. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters. Land interaction with the mountainous Korean Peninsula will also contribute to weakening and the typhoon will begin extra tropical transition with an expanding wind field 72 hours as it interacts with the mid latitude westerlies. However, there are significant differences in the along track speed with a spread of 1053 nautical miles at the 120 hour mark. Therefore, there's low confidence in this portion of the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's track. And wave height is 33 feet. We had a look at the upper level divergence, wind shear, the shear tendency, and as the JTWC said, it remains in favourable environment. Now we have a look at the pivotal weather website. It's the GFS total precipitation. The scales at the bottom of the screen and it's the area in yellow through to dark brown. And whilst the Westpac activity is uh, quietening down, we have one up there in the central Pacific, we have 92 S South Indian Ocean. And not forgetting what's going on in the East Pack and the Atlantic. Total pre-sippable water, you can clearly see where Conway is located and the other one I think is Sri Lanka. And here's the tropical cyclone formation probability guide. You can clearly see Invest 92S uh, over there in the Indian Ocean. And here's a look at the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's current position chart. You can follow Force 13's outlets to website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.